What's going on guys, it's Hi with the Upper Life USA and this is the MyShift Backlight 26 liter, the backpack that I've been using for my outdoor photography adventures. And today in this video, I want to share with you some of my thoughts on this bag and what makes it great and not so great. This is the MyShift Backlight 26 liter. Let's first start this review by looking at the exterior. The bag itself is constructed from 420D velocity and 420D high density nylon and features YKK zippers. One thing that I like about the exterior of this bag is the amount of straps and lash points available. There's a lot of room and flexibility for attaching things to the exterior of this bag. For me, I typically don't use a lot of hiking specific gear like trekking poles or anything like that. I usually just carry my camera gear, some water, and go. The only thing that I would typically attach to the outside of my bags are my tripods. Even so, with the amount of straps and lash points on this particular bag, there is actually a lot of flexibility as to where I can attach my tripod or whatever else I may want to attach to the outside of this bag. With my tripod, I'm able to attach it to this bag in at least four different ways. I can attach my tripod on either side of the bag, down the middle, or by using the optional tripod suspension kit. If I wanted to carry some water, I can just put a bottle in one of the side stretch pockets. However, I do find it weird that this outdoor orientated camera backpack doesn't have a dedicated water bladder compartment. This could be extremely helpful, especially on longer hikes. However, at the end of the day, if I don't want to attach anything to the outside of my bag, I don't have to. But I really like to have the option, and this bag definitely gives me a lot of options as to where I can attach whatever I want. Another thing that I really like about this bag is the suspension system, and with this I'm referring to the shoulder strap, the waist strap, and of course the back panel. I personally feel that this bag has the best shoulder strap and waist strap of any camera bags that I've ever tried. These straps are very well padded and it helps to make the bag a lot more comfortable on long hikes. It also helps that the back panel is also very well padded and the padding itself is raised with cutouts to help promote airflow. Also, if you happen to have other MindShift accessories like the lens switch case, this is also attachable on the waist belt. The lens switch case is convenient because it allows you to have fast access to the lenses that you often switch to. It is also big enough to carry a compact camera setup. I personally carry a film camera in my lens switch case. So one thing that I've really been wanting with my camera bags is just a way to carry ordinary things and this is why I was really attracted to the MindShift Backlight series of bags. This backlight 26 liter actually has a lot of space for me to hold whatever I want via the various pockets at the front of the bag. First, let's look at the top pocket. To be honest, unless you want a place to store small papers, an energy bar, or something like that, this pocket is close to useless, so let's just pass by it. Next, at the very front is another small pocket. There is some stretch to this pocket, so there is plenty of room for things like magazines, maps, or even a small jacket. However, the main storage of this bag is going to be up top. Opening up this top compartment, we are given 9 liters of extra space for personal gear. In this space is also a dedicated laptop compartment, a tablet compartment, and small organization panels. Now that we've covered pretty much everything that has to do with the exterior of this bag, let's finally get onto the insides. Again, this bag is called the Backlight, and it is partly named so for the rear panel back access. I personally prefer my camera backpacks to have rear panel access for two reasons. The first reason is because I often take my camera bags outdoors. In many situations, the ground is going to be dirty and having a rear panel access bag allows me to just set my bag with the front down. This means that the part of the bag that's going to be on my body most of the time is going to stay clean. So when I'm done, I can just put my bag back on without getting my clothes all dirty. This is just a creature comfort, but one that I really prefer to have on any bag that's going to be going outdoors with me. The second reason for me preferring a rear panel access camera bag like this is for security reasons. I often travel with a camera backpack around really crowded city environments that can often be sketchy. This means that the chances of getting pickpocketed is just much higher. So having a backpack with rear panel access just makes it that much harder for the thieves to just get to my gear because obviously the main compartment is covered up by my back. So if they want to get to it, it's going to be pretty hard to get anything inside. Opening up this back panel, there is immediately something interesting about this back panel. It includes what my chef calls a flap keeper neck flap. This is essentially for you to use as a way to keep the flap from falling down and getting in the way when you're trying to get your gear out. This is more useful when you have the hip strap on, swing the bag around, and have it hang in front of you. I personally don't use the bag in this way. I just put the bag on the ground and call it a day. I've seen a lot of people comment on this particular feature and it's largely been negative. And I know that I personally will not be using this feature in the way that it's intended, so I'll likely just take it off. 
A simple way to solve the problem of the flap falling forward on you is to simply make this flap flip from side to side instead of top to bottom. I really prefer my back flaps to open from side to side and it's a design that I'm not sure why most manufacturers don't implement because it really does solve that problem of this flap falling over on you. It just functions so much better. Speaking of the back panel, it also features interior mesh pockets that can be used to store gear such as filters, batteries, and other minor things. And finally, let's talk about the main camera compartment of this backlight 26 liter. Upon first impressions, this is pretty straightforward and looks like many other camera bags. The backlight utilizes padded dividers held in place by Velcro. You can move the dividers around to accommodate your needs. But from personal experience, my shift dividers are very different from those of other brands. The main dividers themselves are the most rigid dividers that I've seen from any manufacturer. They do a good job of not flexing and staying in place to help protect the gear. On the other hand, the small dividers are among the thinnest that I've ever seen. I really wish that all of the dividers were of the same thicker material. This would take up more space in the compartment, but I would rather take the extra protection. Another down point to the dividers of this bag for me is the lack of a horizontal divider. This bag features two long dividers that stretches from the top to the bottom of the bag. This makes the bag very orientated towards holding all of your gear in a vertical manner. There's no way to store things sideways unless it fits within the smaller spaces. I sometimes like to have an empty cavity with no dividers just to toss random things in. This bag does not allow me to do that and that's the biggest downside to this camera compartment for me. But at the end of the day, I do have that extra 9 liters of carrying space up front, so that makes up for the empty cavity in here. I also find the general size of the entire camera compartment to be weirdly sized. If you look at the mind shift side by side with my Low Pro Protactic 450 AW camera bag, the camera compartment is very different in terms of size. The Low Pro is about a 25 liter bag, but it offers much more space for camera equipment. With the Low Pro, you can easily fit three lenses side by side. While with the mind shift, you can only fit about two lenses and something thinner like the size of a flash, like in this photo from the official product page. So in my opinion, if you need to carry a lot of wider camera gear, this is not necessarily the camera bag for you. You should check out the mind shift backlight 35 liter. I've seen that bag in person and it is huge. It carries a lot of gear, a lot more than this bag for sure. So overall, I would say that I've been enjoying this MindShift Backlight 26 liter in the time that I've had it. But I think that that's because over the last few months, I've been downsizing my camera gear, so I don't necessarily need to carry a lot of equipment. I think that for a mid-sized bag like this, around the 25, 26 liters, this bag actually carries less gear than some of my older bags. And I think a lot of that just has to do with the way that the camera compartment is laid out and the padded dividers that we are given with this bag. This bag can very likely carry just as much camera equipment as the lower pro bag that I mentioned earlier. It's just those two long padded dividers. They take up more space than necessary. If we were given shorter dividers or maybe a horizontal divider to divide the space into two, then we are really able to maximize the space in here and control how we lay our camera gear out. This is the biggest downside of this bag for me, just the inflexibility of the camera compartment and the way that you can really arrange it. But luckily for me, like I said, I've downsized my camera gear so I don't need to carry a lot of equipment. I can really make any bag work. Whether or not this bag will work for you is another question. I was lucky enough to have a local camera store carry all three sizes of the backlight in stock. So I was able to see it in person. And I would highly recommend you try to do that if it is possible because the three bags side by side is a dramatic difference and they carry a dramatic different amount of gear. So like I said, check this bag out in person if it is possible, or find a shop that has a really good exchange or return policy so you just buy it and exchange it out if this size happened to not work for you. Because like I said, the three sizes of the backlight camera bags provide dramatically different sizes and function. But if you can make the camera compartment of this bag work for your needs, I think it's a total winner. It's a great, well-designed bag that will probably last for years and years to come. I'm really enjoying this bag and will use it for all of my future outdoor photography adventures. And if you're looking for something similar, I would highly recommend this bag. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.